Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a full body routine using a foam roller. So perfect to work all the muscles and to get a bit of mobility in. I'll be using a half length full roller today, but you can use a full length one as well if that's what you've got. Also let me know in the comments below what other props you'd like to see me use in future videos. So whenever you're ready, grab your roller and your mat and let's get started. So we're going to start lying down, knees bent, Rib cage resting firmly into the floor, head relaxed, neck relaxed, and then go ahead and grab your roller, holding it on either end, and reach the arms overhead so that the roller touches the floor behind you. Keep your arms straight, then take a breath in. Exhale, lift your hips up, curling the hips up into a bridge. Hold the hips lifted. Inhale, bend your elbows, bring them by your side, sliding the roller towards your head keeping the arms in contact with the floor. Exhale, extend your arms long again, again still on the floor, and then inhale, curl the hips back down one vertebra at a time. Untuck the pelvis and then restart the movement. Exhale, tuck the tailbone under, curl the hips up. Inhale, bend the elbows, open through the chest. Exhale, extend the arms, and then inhale, lower back down. Again, lifting the hips up. Bend the elbows, open through your chest. Extend your arms long, still on the floor, and then curl the hips back down. You should be getting a nice stretch through your lats. Exhale, lift the hips up. Bend the elbows, open through your chest. Slide the roller back up, and then curl the hips down. Let's just do a couple more like that in your own time, lifting the hips. Getting a nice stretch through your chest. Really keep the roller Nice and strong in your hands, keeping the hands firmly down on the floor. Last one in your own time. And then just resting here, go ahead and lift the roller back up towards the ceiling. Keep your knees bent, find your neutral position. Then bring one leg into tabletop and then the other. Inhale, keep your arms straight, keep your shoulders relaxed onto the floor. And then on your exhale, engage your core, drawing those hip bones together and extend the right leg long. Inhale, bring the leg back into tabletop. Exhale, extend the left leg. Inhale, back in. Exhale, right leg extends. Inhale, back in. Exhale, left leg extends. Inhale, back in. Keep going, alternating right leg and then left leg. Keep going here, really keeping that neutral spine feeling that connection between your hip bones and your lower abdomen. The roller just stays up towards the ceiling for now. Keep your head relaxed, back of the neck long. Keep the lower ribs down, try not to flare through the rib cage and arch your back. One more on each side. And then keep the legs in tabletop. This time bring the legs together so they're touching. Take a breath in to prepare, and then exhale, extend both legs long as you extend your arms overhead. Arms and legs should be about 45 degrees away from the floor. And then inhale, come back to center. Exhale, extend the legs and arms, and then inhale back in. Exhale, arms go overhead, legs go long. Inhale, come back in. Exhale, extend. Inhale in, keep going. Exhale, extend, inhale back in. Make sure that you're keeping your lower abdomen engaged as you do this movement. You shouldn't have any doming through the abdomen. Let's do two more. Last one. And then lowering both legs, reaching the legs long, keep them together, reach your arms overhead. Take a deep breath in, we're gonna do a roll up. And then exhale, lift your arms, lift your head, curl the spine up to a seated position and take a deep breath in to restack your spine. Exhale, roll off your sit bones, tuck the tailbone under and curl your spine back down onto the mat, placing one vertebra down at a time and then inhaling to reach your arms overhead. Let's repeat, exhale, roller goes up, arms go up, head looks forwards and then rolling up, inhale, sitting tall, then exhale, tucking pubic bone to navel, rolling back down, inhale, arms go overhead. Exhale, roll up, 
inhale sit tall and then exhale curling back down inhale arms go overhead two more exhale curling up inhale stack the spine exhale rolling back inhale arms go overhead last one exhale curling up inhale sit tall and hold here very nice from here bring the roller behind your upper back so you want the roller to be about the level of your shoulder blades the base of your shoulder blades keeping your legs straight extend your spine over the roller supporting your head in your hands elbows coming in just a little and focus on keeping the back of the neck long Take a deep breath in as you arch your back over the roller and then exhale, lift up, bringing your ribs to your pelvis. Inhale, extend back over the roller. Exhale, lift up, keep your pelvis stable, just move from the belly button upwards. And then inhale, extend over the roller. Exhale, lift up. Inhale, extend. Exhale, lift. Inhale, extend. You should be feeling the abdominals working and getting a nice extension stretch through your spine. Let's do three more. Last two. Last one. And then extend the back, back over the roller. Bend your left knee, and then just gently rest the left toes onto the mat so that the heel is lifted. Take a breath in, extending over the roller, and then exhale, lift your chest over to your left side as you lift the left leg to tabletop. Inhale, lower the chest over the roller and lower the left leg back down just to tap toes to the floor. Exhale, lifting up towards the left leg. Inhale, extend over the roller. Exhale, lift up. Inhale, lower the leg, lower the chest. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Think about bringing your right ribs to your left pelvis. Last three. Two. Last one. And then coming back over the roller, straighten out your left leg, bend your right leg, and again, gently rest the toes onto the mat. Take a breath in, arch your back over the roller, and then exhale, lift to your right leg as you lift the right leg to tabletop. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. This time thinking about bringing your left lower ribs to your right pelvis, but still keeping the pelvis neutral. Last few. Two. Last one. Extend over the roller. Reach both legs long. And then one last curl to sit up tall. Very nice. Bring the roller out from behind your back now and place it under your feet with your knees bent. You should have the arches comfortably on the roller. And then curl all the way back down to lie on your back with your knees bent. And again, feet gently resting on the roller. Legs should be hip width, so just make sure you have your hips, knees and ankles in line. Arms by your side, palms down, and open through your chest. So think about having space between your shoulders. Lift your hips straight up into a bridge and then hold. From here, you're gonna do very small rolls of the roller towards you. Think about bringing your heel towards your bottom. So rolling the roller in for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, lower the hips down. You should feel the hamstrings working with this one. Exhale, lift the hips back up, and we'll repeat the pulses this time for nine. Rolling in, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower the hips down. Lifting up and pulsing for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, lower the hips, lifting up and pulsing for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, lower the hips, lift the hips back up, little roll-ins for six, five, four, three, two, one, lower the hips, lifting back up, 
mini rolls for five, four, three, two, one. Lower the hips down, you're almost done. Lifting the hips, pulsing for four, three, two, one. Lower, lift, and rolling in for three, two, one. Lower the hips down, last stretch, you're almost done. Lift the hips, roll in for two, one. Lower the hips, and then last one, lifting up. Roll in, and then lower the hips down. Very nice. From here, stay resting on your back. You can roll the roller out from underneath your feet and towards you, so towards your bottom. From here, grab the roller with your hands, lift your hips up, and then slide the full roller underneath your hips. So it should be resting on your tailbone. Take a breath in and then exhale, lift one leg to tabletop, followed by the other. Now in this position, your pelvic neutral will feel slightly different, so it'll be a little bit more tipped back towards you. But try to keep a bit of space still under your back so it's not fully rounded. Straighten out the legs and then bring the right leg closer to you as the left leg reaches down towards the floor. Come back up and then switch, left leg comes to you, right leg goes to floor. And coming up, pause and switch. Come back up, pause and switch. So keep moving here, inhale to move the legs and then exhale to come back to the middle. Inhale to move and exhale, come back to middle. Inhale, separate the legs, exhale middle. Inhale, separate the legs, exhale middle. Now see if you can pick up the pace, breathing at a normal pace for you, just make sure you don't hold your breath. Bringing the right leg towards you, left leg down, and then switch the legs. Switch again, and switch. Trying to stay as stable as you can on the roller. So core engaged, trying not to let the pelvis tip from side to side as you do this. Last three, two, one. Bring the legs back up towards the ceiling, and we'll try cycling. Lower the right leg down towards the floor, then bend the knee back in as you lower the left leg down. Straighten the right leg up and then repeat. So you're doing a nice gentle movement as one leg comes in towards you, the other leg starts lowering down. See if you can skim the floor with the foot that's going down and really reach the leg long. Try to lower the leg as close to the floor as you can before you start to bend it and bring it back in. And again, staying open through your collarbone, relaxed in your neck and rib cage, and stable through the pelvis. Last few here. And then bring the legs again back up towards the ceiling. Come into a slight external rotation, so turning the heels in towards each other. Point the toes, and then open the legs wide out to the sides. You should feel a nice stretch in your inner thighs. Flex the feet and then drive the heels back together, keeping the legs straight. Legs squeeze together, point the toes, and then inhale, open. Exhale, flex the feet and close. Inhale, point the toes, open. Exhale, flex the feet and drive the legs back together. Keep going, opening and closing. Inhale, open with pointed toes. Exhale, close with flex feet. Again, pelvis is neutral here. You should feel a nice stretch in the inner thigh. Try to keep the legs perpendicular to the floor when they're together. So trying not to let the legs tip down or up. Just check again that you're still relaxed through your shoulders and neck. Last two. Last one. And then bending the knees, lower one leg down, then the other. One last bridge, and then you can take the roller out from underneath your hips. From here, come onto your left side, resting on your forearm, and then just place the full roller underneath your rib cage. Now the idea with this is you wanna keep your rib cage pulling away from the roller, so you have to push into your forearm, create space between your ear and shoulder, and really stay tall through your spine. If at any point during these exercises you feel your side touch the roller, you've probably lost your stable position and started to slide down a bit. So just pull it away again and always stay nice and engaged through your shoulders. Bend your knees so that your hips, elbow, and ankles are all in line. 
and then lift your feet off the floor. Exhale, squeeze the heels together and lift your top knee. Inhale, close. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Keep going. Focus on that rotation coming from your hip joint. Keep that top hip bone facing forwards. Last three. Two. Last one, hold. We're gonna come into some disconnected taps. So inhale as you tap the knees together, disconnect the feet. Exhale, tap the feet, bringing the knee back up into your clam. Inhale, tap the knees. Exhale, tap the feet. Inhale, knees. Exhale, feet. So again, focusing on your hip internal and external rotation. Last three. Two. Last one. Keep holding. From here, keep the top thigh really stable and inhale, extend the top leg long. Exhale, bend, tap the feet and then inhale, extend again. Exhale, bend and tap. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend. Keep going here. Making sure again to keep the bottom leg still lifted. Extend, bend, last three. Two. Last one, hold the leg extended. Point the toes and then lower the foot down. Tap the floor and then lift. Inhale, tap. Exhale, lift. Inhale, tap. Exhale, lift. Keep going. Still working on those outer glute muscles now. Last three. Two. Last one. And then bend the knee, lower the feet, lower the legs down. Very nice. Coming over onto your other side and we'll repeat the series. So setting up on your right side this time, form pushing the floor away from you with the roller underneath your rib cage, just to encourage that lift. Make sure that you're keeping the rib cage pulling away from the roller. So reaching that top hip down towards your feet with your knees bent and your feet in line with your hips. Lift the feet up, then exhale, squeeze the heels together and lift the top knee. Inhale, lower the knee down, and then exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. So really focusing on that heel squeeze to get the glutes activated, to get those hip rotators activated. Keep pulling the rib cage away from the roller. Last two. Last one, hold. Inhale, tap the knees together, lift the top foot, and then exhale, lift the top knee, get the heels to touch again. Inhale, tap the knees, exhale, tap the feet. Inhale, tap the knees. Exhale, tap the feet. Keep going. Alternating between knee taps and heel taps. Keeping your neck long. Last three. Two. Last one. Hold the leg lifted. Keep the thigh where it is. Inhale, extend the leg long. Exhale, bend, tap the feet. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend. Very nice. Keep going. Last four. Three. Two. Last one. Hold the leg extended. Point the toes. Almost done. Last set. Inhale, tap the floor. And then exhale, lift back up. Inhale, tap. Exhale, lift. Inhale, tap the floor, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Last five, four, three, almost done, last two, last one. And then bend the knee, lower the legs down, and come on to your stomach. Bring your legs as wide as the mat, and then take your full roller Reach it out in front of you with your arms long and rest your forearms on the roller. We're gonna start with some shoulder blade isolations. Keep your head lifted away from the mat with your chin tucked, back of the neck long. You wanna have your neck in line with the rest of your spine, so in a pretty neutral position here. 
Keeping the arms straight, reach the roller away from you, so sliding your forearms along the roller to reach your fingertips away. Shoulders should come up towards your ears. And then exhale, pull the shoulders back down, create space now between the ear and the shoulder. So you're sliding your forearms back down. Inhale, reach the fingertips away from you. Shoulder blades come up. And then exhale, slide the shoulder blades down. Inhale, reach forwards. And exhale, down. Just two more like this. Reach and then lower. Reach and pull back. Now we're going to add an extension. Inhale, reach the legs long, slide your arms up the roller. And then exhale, pull the shoulder blades down and keep the movement going. Start extending from your mid back and ripple that up your spine, gaze forward. Shoulder blades still squeezing down. Exhale, start to lower the ribs down and then lower the breastbone down. Reach the arms long, shrug your shoulders. And then inhale, pulling back, slide the shoulders down, reach your breastbone up. And exhale, lower the chest back down, reach the arms long. Inhale, extend, rolling up roller. And then exhale, lower, rolling your arms forwards on the roller. Inhale, extend. And then exhale, relax back down. A couple more here. Really getting that nice extension through your spine. Last two. As you look up, keep the back of your neck long still, so try not to look up towards the ceiling. And then resting all the way down. Bring the legs together and push yourself up to kneeling. Bring the roller in front of you, just in front of your knees with your fingertips resting on the roller. And then curl down into a child's pose. So let, drop the head, let the shoulders come forwards and roll down and forwards into your child's pose. Exhale, tuck the tailbone under, lift up through your navel first and then ripple the spine back up to sit up tall. Inhale, hold here and then exhale, rolling down into your child's pose. Inhale, hold the stretch here, take a deep breath in. Then exhale, pull the navel up round the spine and roll back up to stand. Last one, rolling forwards. Inhale, holding that child's pose. And then exhale, rolling back up to sit. Very nice. We're gonna come into our final stretch now with some thread the needles. Bring the roller over to your left side and place it vertically just in line with the side of your mat. Come onto hands and knees, making sure that your hands are directly under shoulders. Inhale as you reach the right arm up over to the right side, and then exhale, thread the right arm through, make contact with the roller, and then continue that threading movement, rolling your arm along the roller. Inhale, rolling back, and then over to your right side, reach the right arm up. Exhale, threading through, rolling on the roller and then inhale coming back over to your right last one really rotate the breastbone to the right and then threading through for your last stretch and then coming back to hands and knees let's repeat on the other side so go ahead and move the roller over to your right side now take a deep breath in as you rotate your chest over to the left let the left arm reach towards the sky and then exhale, threading through, hand to roller, and really reach the bottom arm long. Inhale, open over to the left side, and then exhale, threading through, again making contact with the roller. Last one, rolling back to center, then extend the left arm up, rotate your breastbone to the left, and then exhale, threading through, rotating to your right, as the left arm makes contact with the roller, and then coming back to center. Go ahead and sit back on your heels, take a deep breath in, and you're all done. Hope you feel worked out and stretched out. Don't forget to leave a like and comment down below if you like this video or if you have suggestions for any other videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.